My name is Rafael, I'm from Brazil. I'm a student of FIU, Florida International University, and I'm taking the course Ethical Hacking. So this video is gonna be about a final project that I need to deliver. And everything that you're gonna see here about hacking is totally educational. Of course, it can be used for mean actions, but uh, I'm not responsible for that. So pay attention on everything. And if, if you like the video, hit like here down. And if, if you need, if you want to give me some comments, you feel, feel free to do it. So today we're going to talk about um, phishing people to, to get their Facebook accounts. So actually what, what we're going to do, we're going to create a fake Facebook page and send them through email. And of course this email is going to be a fake email as well. And try to lure them to to access the Facebook from this fake page. So going to the backtrack, we're gonna open the terminal and we're gonna create the fake page. So we're gonna put CD pen test exploits and set. Sets in it's the engineering tool set. So we're just gonna put dot forward forward slash set and hit enter so here you can see is the social engineering attack so it's gonna use today and the second option they're gonna use is website attack vectors press enter and the credential harvester attack method now it's easy to see what you're gonna say what, what you're gonna do because I told you before guys so it's site cloner, go to the second option. Uh, now, the, the backtrack asks for your IP address. So there, is, there are a lot of ways to do it. You can go to website and ask for my IP address, but actually I prefer using the terminal of backtrack and you're gonna put if config. And here you can see the IP address that I'm gonna copy copy here and gonna paste there now you hit enter and it asks you the website that I want to clone so actually how it works you can put whatever site you want you can put you can even put Google so when you clone Google for example everything that the person is gonna put on the search bar is gonna they, this information is gonna be back to us so as long as you put a website that they have like a login uh, and a password uh, or at least if you wanna look what the person is searching for on Google you can also do it but in our case it's gonna put the Facebook so HTTP www.facebook.com uh, this this fake this fake page is gonna be is gonna be our IP address. So I'm gonna show you guys now. I'm gonna open. Uh, I'm gonna open the browser here to show you how it works. So put it down a little bit. Do you remember the 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 IP address that I said before. So here we go. Uh, this is the fake, the fake Facebook page that uh, that you're using now. So everything that we're gonna put here is gonna be our information, the main information that you need. So what do you need now? We need to fish with ph, not f, uh, our victim. So there are some ways you can do it. Uh, backtrack can do it for you. You can send fake email emails, but I, I'm not gonna use this this tool today because when you do it by by backtrack, you need to put a actual an email that you know the password on the on the background, and it's not really smart because sometimes sometimes you if the people know who you are by looking your email, you can be screwed up. So, I have other options here. There is this cool website that you can put a, an email, but you don't need to you don't need to know the password. 
So you just put a, a fake email here. You can create a fake email. You you can take someone's email, so you can take your friend email and put it here because you don't need to put a password. And what's gonna show on the email, like here, from name, is gonna be the, the title who sent the email for you. So we hope that you're gonna put uh, Facebook support or something like this to attract the, the, the victim. And we hope that they don't look at the actual email they're gonna send because of course not from Facebook. That's the only drawback of this this hacking. Um, one thing that you're gonna do that's pretty cool, because in the email I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys here. I have a script. Uh, it's gonna be like a fake message from Facebook. I'm like supposing I'm I'm the staff and something bad happened in their account. So as you can see here, our security staff believes their Facebook account may have been compromised. So it's all a story that I invented. And as you can see here, it's going to be a hyperlink. And here in the hyperlink, we're going to put our IP address. But if the person mouses over the, here, the, the word here, they're going to see the IP address. And it's not good because... Uh, they're gonna suspect that something bad. So what you can do, we can shorten the link. Um, so we're gonna find a website that can short the link. This one is good. We're gonna paste our IP address here. Ooh. Here we go. This is what I'm gonna use for that. Copy. And then here we come back and paste. Now, uh, as you can see here, if you know a little bit of HTML, uh, this is a this is a method that you can uh, you hyperlink some words and actually here I'm using uh, to both Facebook support stuff just to make it more convincing you know like Facebook dear Facebook users gonna be in both and and it's gonna I think it's more convincing to our victim so the next step we can do we need to put a uh, an email there so one option that you can do you can create a fake email. There is this cool website, Get Air Email, that they create instantaneous email that they they're gonna be disabled after a while. So you can copy that and put it here from from email. It's gonna be like the email they're gonna show uh, when they receive it. But there is another cool way that you can get a list of emails and backtrack of a website so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it because of course did you see that this temporary email is quite creepy because there are a lot of things and it's not convincing at all so what you can do we can get a actual uh, uh, existing email by someone else you can take your friends one whatever and what I'm gonna show you guys here is to take from website. So I'm gonna come here, expectation, and then exploit MSF console. I have a code here to help me out. I'm gonna copy and paste. just have to wait for royal oh no. now we're gonna follow here are the instructions below we're gonna put show options and you're gonna choose the, the domain so we're gonna put set domain actually Facebook's prepared for this attack so it, it doesn't work with face with Facebook 
Uh, for example, I'm gonna use my university website fiu.edu and let's see if it works. Run. Now it's searching and extracting all the emails they have on the website and we're just gonna grab a random one and try to do it. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, sometimes they have the protection on the website. Let's hope. Oh, here we go. So here you can see there are a lot of uh, emails on the website. So you can use. For example, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna copy. Farmer. I'm just gonna copy here just to remember later. Paste. We use this. I'm gonna use this email. So we come back to the website. We're gonna put from this email. Let me select. All right. And the name we're gonna put Facebook support because you're faking that you're supposing that something happened happened something bad happened on the on their account and you're gonna send to this email that I created it's gonna be a victim FIU at yahoo.com the subject of the, of the email is gonna be account disabled uh, we don't need to attach anything we don't want, we don't want to reply we can set everything as it is now it's pretty cool, you see, you can like change everything here, but just for an example in this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it like this uh, now I need to put the capture so yeah. go and, and send Oh, I hate this capture. So now, guys, I'm gonna check out if if the email was sent. Oh, you can see here, I got the email. The same thing that we did before: Facebook support and account disabled. So it's pretty convincing right now, and it's not in the e spam. So it's good. It's good. It's a good signal. And here. You can see our our email and it's pretty cool, right? Because you added on the text box. And now you're gonna let's try to to open that. When I click here, we go to Facebook page, but actually you know that is the fake one because you can see here on the top. So what's the bad thing about it? If the user is aware of everything and he knows how to use a computer, he's gonna check that it's not the actual Facebook web page and he's gonna see our IP address on the top bar. But we hope that this fake email address can can be good enough because here you can see like from Facebook support to you and they can only see if they click here, but honestly I would not click here, but of course no it's always good to check it out to, to double check before receiving some suspicious email actually if you if you receive a suspicious email never open that because it can be tricky it can be a hack so let's do it for example our victim is worried about the Facebook account and he wants to or she wants to check it out and what to and so the problem so it's gonna put like victim uh, FIU victim FIU uh, for example facebook.com is another one and the password I'm gonna tell you guys I'm gonna uh, better to be more convincing I'm gonna put here A B C D E I'm gonna copy Here. So you know that it's A B C D E. I'm gonna try it, and you see the the Safari can open the page because actually it's not a real page; it's a fake one. 
So let's go back to backtrack and check it out. So going back to backtrack guys, we can see here that it got the password and the email of our victim and it means that it worked. Um, so doing an overall of everything that we learned today, we learned how to create a fake Facebook page and it can be also Gmail or other one that you can put some information in the box. You can use that for games and other things to hack some accounts and take care if you receive some suspicious email about that and, I, and we also learn how to lure some people using phishing email and backtrack and in websites as well I prefer website actually because it can do the tricks that I told you to hide the, the email information um, and so basically we need to take care and check everything on our email. If you receive a suspicious, a suspicious email, just don't open. Or if you want to try, open that and check the links that that are attached on that. So, for example, in our case, you can see the IP address. So, if you see any suspicious number, don't click on that because it's actually a hack or someone behind you trying to get your information. Another way that you can do it, uh, you can hack some people. Is not like by sending email. You can hack using the same method that you use here with the IP address and creating a Facebook fake page or other other fake page by asking a friend if he wants to log in in your computer. For example, I did it with my friend. I have the video and it's pretty cool because I called her and I said, "Hey, did you see the the new search bar of Facebook?" And she said, "No, I don't know about it." So. I told her that just a few people could get it and they were sending uh, randomly and I asked her, hey, can you check it out here? Log in my computer and see if you got it. And she, she actually did it and I got her password. Of course, it was for the class as well. So it was just a video showing for the class how to, how to do it. And, but I told her later because she's my friend, of course. So take care not only with emails but with suspicious people or maybe your friends trying to trick you because it's easily done. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon guys. Bye bye.